babe, have you seen a style trending and you just weren't quite sure about it and something in the back of your mind was like, sis, this is not for you, but you went ahead and got it and it ended up sitting in the back of your closet, then sis, hit that like button because I know I can't be the only one. <laughs> Today's video is all about trendy items I will not be purchasing this summer, aka things not to waste your money on. Because with these prices, okay, and this inflation, that money could be going to trips, okay, putting money on IRAs, shoot, buying gas in these days. So the first item I will not be spending my money on this summer and something that I've been seeing trending for the last like year and a half or so is going to be designer logo hoops. Now hear me out, right? I have been seeing these LV logo hoops all over the internet. All of the it girls, all of the black girl luxury girls, all of, okay, the baddies and the babes have a pair of these specific LV hoops, right? And so low-key was on my wish list because I was like, okay, it's cute. Like I could see it, but honestly, I kept on going back and forth because I always wear wigs and my ears are typically covered. So really studs make more sense. But you know, when you see enough of something, you start to get influence, right? And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna treat myself for my birthday or like something, maybe a milestone, I'm gonna go ahead and treat myself and get these hoops until, until, okay, I was in line to get the test um, over the holidays and um, this girl right in front of me, she had those hoops and I was just looking at them. I'm like, are these, these hoops? These hoops, I'm like, it's a lie. Okay, these hoops are over $500. And guess what? They're costume jewelry. They're not even real gold, all right? Not real gold hoops, costume jewelry. And honestly, when I saw those hoops for real with my own eyes in the line, unless hers were fake, which I don't think they were fake just because of all the other stuff that she was rocking, um, they were giving me like the hoops that I could buy at the beauty supply because I could see the joint where the LV and the hoop was like welded together. And I'm like, am I spending this much money to be able to see this seam? Am I spending this much money, okay, that they could not do a better job at like making this, this hoop look more aesthetically pleasing? I'm spending this much money on basically metal? over $500 and they could do they could not do a better job and I could also get welded hoops just like these at the beauty supply store for $2.99 and it just makes me wonder what the cost is for those hoops I'm sure those hoops do not cost LV more than like $2 okay they do because they literally look like made in China products all right and they're charging over $500 for them okay um, it's a no for me, sis. I could be spending my money on so much other stuff. Like you could actually get 18 karat gold hoops for half the price on Etsy. Hoops that will last you for as long, for, forever because they're gold, okay? For half the price. So like, why are we paying this much money for, for costume jewelry? And it really got me thinking about like, why I had this on my wish list, why I wanted it so much, and what was like my mindset. And it, it, it kind of reminds me of what we talked about in the original video. So this is actually, I would say part two, because I actually made a video where I talked about things I no longer waste my money on in the fall. And we, we kikied on that video. You guys love that video. So I figured, why not make a version of this video for summer if you haven't seen that video i really really talk about not just the things i no longer waste my money on but i talked about how marketing really and the things that we consume really play a part in this toxic cycle of waste not just like actual waste you know like for example a certain brand that starts with a sh and ends with a n okay, makes about like 10 times the amount of products that most fast fashion retailers make and most of those things that they make are such low quality that they aren't even made to last and will end up in life la um, landfills. But not even talking about just wasting of actual materials, but also wasting of our money. Like we're all trying to build generational wealth. We're all trying to break that cycle. I mean, I am. 
you know, I'm a guess you are, but I may be wrong. You made me ball in. Okay. And if you ball in, then this doesn't apply. But like we could really be spending our money on building ourselves, on building our wealth, on creating something for the next generation. And again, this video is not to bash anybody. If you have those hoops, if you want those hoops, buy what makes you happy, right? I hate when people are judgy, right? However, I firmly um, believe that we should be shopping smart and that we should also take some time to reflect on some of our purchases. And you know, I completely understand that I'm also a content creator, so I'm part of this marketing machine and that's a video for another day, um, especially as a fashion content creator. But I also believe in being honest with my audience and I also believe in, oh my God. Oh, okay. But to wrap things up, I just, want us all to you know from time to time reflect on why that we make the purchases that we make how much of it is truly because something sparks joy in us and not because you know we are trying to keep up with the joneses and if keeping up with the joneses makes you happy then more power to you new here my name is chi chi and on this channel we cover fashion beauty and a lifestyle so if you love hauls lookbooks vlogs then sis <laughs> you found your tribe all you have to do to join is subscribe so the next item that i will not be purchasing this summer is going to be the body comp like, okay i'm saying this with air quotes just because i just saw this gorgeous body con um dress on I don't know why her name is it's like I can't seem to think of it but she has the it girl the plus got plus size it girl vlog series and I'm just gonna put a pop a picture right here yes um like she you know I, that bodycon I would definitely purchase just because of the colors I just love the vibe of it all like it's very much in line with my style for this summer so for that maybe i'll make an exception but in general like i'm just like i just feel like just like peplums the the body cons seem to have like the plus size community in a chokehold like there are other dress silhouettes besides a body con and you can have structure you can do like a a sheet dress i believe that's the correct term right um dress will also give you you know will also highlight your shape you could do even like a slip dress that will also highlight the, your shape right i just don't know why party cons have on, on such a chokehold and honestly there's only a very small subsection of women in the curvy community that can really pull off a, a body con without needing like copious amounts of control and shapewear now some girls don't believe in shapewear and will rock their body cons however they see fit and if that's you then more power to you but at this big age of mine um i just i, I don't want my clothes to distract from my personality i don't want my clothes to distract from who i am if i were to rock some, a body con without any kind of foundational garment without any sort of like control like it's just gonna bring me the type of attention and the, you know that I don't want so personally personally I believe like my body is the canvas okay and what I wear on top my clothes that's the art right and I want you to focus on the art so anyways with that said like at this age of mine I believe that I want to comfort my comfort matters to me my comfort is impossible important to me when I'm comfortable I'm more confident and when I have to wear copious amounts of shapers you know in order to keep everything snatched and in you know I'm tugging I'm pulling and I'm just like it kills the vibe for me so I'm gonna stick with my other dress um silhouettes okay that are a lot more forgiving and require a whole lot less fuss all right and if you agree with me hit that like button and if you love your body con sis wear what makes you happy so the next item that I would definitely, when I say definitely, I mean definitely not be spending my money on, wasting my money on this summer, the next trend is gonna be low rise jeans. Whoever is trying to bring this back needs to go back into the closet. Go back into the closet and bring another trend back because it's not coming up. And I totally understand why this trend is coming back up because again, the Gen Z's, you know, they think they're doing something new by going thrifting and they be thrifting these low rise jeans. No, 
it's a no for me. Okay, when these jeans first trended, I could not get my whole booty, okay, inside of the jeans, all right? And I was about two dress sizes smaller, all right? I remember those days. I remember those days because I saw a lot of ass cracks those days. I used to have to wear extra long shirts to make sure that my ass was covered. I remember how uncomfortable it was to sit down because you were always constantly pulling down your shirt to make sure that you weren't flashing people. Who is it? Who is the person that is bringing back these trends? No, it's a no. It's a no for me for the low rise jeans. All right. And the funny thing about it is that I almost feel like um, the diehards when, you know, we started moving away from skinny jeans and we started going to straight jeans. I feel like that. And I, you know, I'm going to own it. I'm going to own my age. I'm also on my fupa, my muffin top, you know, and all this extra booty that I have and now have. And I'm going to say no no to the low rise jeans trend and I actually said this in my in my trends video but you, you you know trends are great they're important it's important to keep up with trends it's important to know what's current right it's important to invest in keeping your wardrobe renewed so you're not you know your style doesn't get dated but it's also important to know thyself and also important to know what trends actually work for your personal style and I know that you wouldn't catch me you can't catch me in a pair of low ride jeans I'm not doing that to myself like who, who, who are these people who are these people trying to come up with this trend like who Mm -mm. I'm so I'm so upset. I'm like, what do they mean by oh, low rise jeans are coming back? For who? Who who trying to wear this? <laughs> So the next item that I will not be spending my money on, okay, is going to be short shorts, booty shorts, any short is, that is not one to two inches longer than where my thighs meet and rub. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you check out my how to find the perfect shorts video because then you will know what I'm talking about. Like gone are the days where I am struggling, walking, pulling down my shorts, my thighs are rubbing together, they're chafing, I'm uncomfortable. Um, every three steps I gotta pull, I gotta yank, like I'm not doing that anymore. Okay, but actually longer shorts are actually trending anyways. Kind of like that whole resurgence with the whole vintage thing with this generation of kids really diving deep into the vintage styles. So your girl will not be spending money on any booty shorts. I so if you're enjoying this video so far <laughs> and you got a couple of laughs in, hit that like button. This is also a great time to share this with your friends so y'all can kiki together okay <laughs> let's laugh together let me know in the comments what you're thinking about these trends okay so the next thing I will not be investing my money in and I'm gonna say that I will not be investing my money in the luxury version of this trend and it's going to be the super sparkly shoes right the super sparkly shoes with the bow on them I believe the originator is called Mac and Mac if I'm pronouncing it wrong let me know in the comments um um, but like check check Amazon check like um, ASOS like every time Digger Harry designer has a version of these shoes for $75 $25 $45 so why am I going to spend a thousand and ninety five dollars for these shoes when I could get it for way less and the reason why this is important is because like those are super sparkly shoes like how often am I wearing super sparkly shoes you know, I understand if you're getting married and you want to commemorate it with your shoes or maybe if you're graduating, but honestly, even if you're getting married, even if you're graduating, you could get some Badgley Mishka shoes that have the whole sequence and bedazzles for like $250, $300. And if you really want to spend, maybe you could even get some Manolo Blahniks, the Hungazis. I mean, I even feel like those are more wearable. Um, like if you get it in a fun color, but I just, I just don't understand. I just can't, I just can't justify spending a thousand dollars for these shoes because I have not seen the originals. However, I bet you that the difference between like the $75 pair, okay, and the thousand dollar pair is not worth the thousand dollar difference in my opinion, okay? You can fight me on it in my opinion. If you got it like that, you want to spurge like that, you want it like that, Again, buy what makes you happy, but sis, you can spend that other money on booking yourself a trip, paying for flights, okay, to your next vacation. 
I don't know. To me, it's just, it's just not. It's a no. It's it's a no for the Mac and Max, okay? Especially at over $1,000. And then most of them, like, are made out of satin, so not durable. Made out of PVC, basically plastic. You're not even getting leather. So why am I spending $1,000 again? Mm -mm. It's a no for me. It's a no for this girl. And the next trend that your girl will not be caught. Okay, I feel like this trend might end up growing on me, but I hope not. And that's gonna be the gas station glasses. I remember I used to call these dad glasses. Again, I think it's because these kids go into the thrift store and now they're trying. Okay, I'm just making sure that I was not flashing y'all. And now they're trying to make all these things cool. I'm like, what? No, I don't think I even liked these glasses when they were trending in the 90s. So why are we bringing them back? These Voltron looking like glasses. Like, you look like, you know... <laughs> Like these are these look like the goggles you wear in space. I don't understand why we're bringing these back. And I apparently like Balenciaga and all these designers are jumping on the bandwagon and people are paying like upwards of six hundred dollars for these glasses that they used to like give away at the Seven Eleven at the Exxon. Y'all trying to pay five below? Shoot, I'm sure if I rolled up in five below, I could probably find these glasses. Oh my God, I don't know what's going on with fashion. And <laughs> I'm laughing because one of my biggest fears is like to have a dated wardrobe. I just, I can't do it. I can't do it with these glasses. I can't, I don't know, I just like, personally, I think with my aesthetic, I really like my eyewear to be understated. So I think that's why I always have an issue with glasses that have a lot of like bedazzling and rhinestones and embellishments. I just think it's just too much. Like I just want my my glasses to kind of like complement what I'm wearing, right? Now, when it comes to glasses, I am kind of dabbling in some of the retro trends in that I've been loving the rimless styles, you know? I definitely have already invested in some rimless glasses, but like I feel like that's as far as like I'm willing to go when it comes to the retro things. Like you can't get, oh, I just hope I'm, I'm saying it right now that you can't get me to wear these dad glasses. I hope I don't see myself in two years rocking the glasses. And one thing I've realized about fashion is it has really less to do with what you're wearing and more to do with the aura you exude when you're you feel confident in it. Right? That aura is. It's kind of contagious, right? It is, and it makes people second guess. Like for example, I when the dad sneakers came out and they were so bulky and I hated them, like for, for I would say 80% of the trend um, timeline, I was like, no, I'm not buying these. But the last 20%, I started like to come around, okay? And so, because I had seen so many studying girls rock it. But I just don't see myself dying. I don't see myself, mm -mm. I don't see myself changing my mind on this. And if you catch me changing my mind, call me out on it. Call me out, call me out. <laughs> All right guys. I know I'm gonna get some questions about this. This is actually a dress, super fun and flirty. I love dresses like this. I actually have this dress in pink and I have this dress in white. I love this silhouette. If you don't know what silhouette I'm talking about, definitely check out my summer haul video, the first one, where I talk a lot about this silhouette and why it just works for all body types. But anyways, if you want the tea on the dress, it will be linked linked in the description box on my LTK. And if you're like, Chi Chi, what's LTK? Well, since you asked, LTK is an app where I link all of my fashion favorites, my beauty favorites, home decor, except everything, everything that I feature and I talk about, I link 99.9% .9 on that app. So you can always return and shop. It's completely searchable if you download the app. So while you're there, download the app and follow and if you're looking for other fantastic, fashionable, fun babes to follow, then make sure you jump on over to my blog where I share 20 other fashion forward fun creators to follow. If you enjoyed this video and you want more videos just like this, all you have to do is subscribe. Check out this video and this video 
Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.